So I'm going to show you how to create a scatter plot and regression equation using Microsoft Excel for a Mac. So the first thing you notice is I've already input my data to save time and um, it's a sample data that I just made up for a 10 by 10 rectangle. Um, first column of X is the, the length of the cutout square um, from each corner to create the box and then the second column V sub C is the calculator volume. Um, so just for a, a quick um, that to kind of help out with things. Let's go to uh, view and turn it to normal. It's going to make things a little bit easier in the long run. Then we're going to highlight all of our data. Click on charts. And up here we're going to find XY scatter. Easier than going all the way to page 8. Click on this marked scatter plot and we've already got the data there. Um, so let's click on a data point. All of them will get selected. Um, go up to chart and we're going to add a trend line. So first thing we have, um, let's go down to options. We want to display the equation on the chart and we also want to display the R squared value. Uh, you're going to be asked for the R value which is simply the square root of that. I'm going to type, we're going to do linear first. We have two more we have to do so we'll deal with them when we get there and click OK. I'm also going to rename this so I don't forget that this is the linear one. It should be pretty obvious so maybe you don't want to but I like to have things labeled properly. Click there, and that's just highlight the data again. Just repeat our steps. Chart at trend line. Only difference here, we're gonna to go to polynomial now in order of two. Don't forget to go to options and display the equation and also the R squared value. Click OK. And let's make this a R quad label this R quadratic. one last time here's our trend line well over here we'll go to the options first all right I'll type this time is in polynomial of order three this means it's going to be something about third power and I'm going just to rename this one um, third power we call something cubed so we're going to call that our cubic equation now, since we're going to import this into another program for you know to display the data, we don't really care how these charts are formatted and how they look right now. 